Hi there, thanks for tuning in. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is the difference between needing and wanting a relationship. When you want a relationship is often when you are together with who you are, you know what you're looking for, you're happy and content with who you are as you stand alone, but you're ready to bring somebody into the mix that can add more to your life. They're an extension of who you already are. When you need somebody in your life, it is often due to insecurities and you feel that by having somebody as a partner that you can lean on, you can rely on. The trouble with this situation is when you need somebody, often you sacrifice because you're giving yourself to somebody just so you can say you've got a partnership. Quite often, it's not because you're choosing somebody that you're super fulfilled with. And what happens here is that you shortchange yourself when you need someone. Quite often when you need to be in a relationship, it's because you want to feel accepted. You want to feel validated. And you don't feel that way on your own. So you look for somebody else to bring that t toward you. And that's okay sometimes. You know, that's what we all have moments where we need somebody in our life, our partner, we need the support. But having somebody in your life just because you need to be in a relationship is not a healthy place to put yourself because you're going, you're going to end up in a lot of relationships that aren't serving you. You depend on them when you need them. When you have a full life outside of a relationship, that is when you're whole and you feel good about bringing somebody into the mix because you've got a lot to offer. And as long as you meet somebody of a similar caliber, then you're going to have a really good partnership. You want them in your life, but you don't need them in your life. And that's the difference here. A lot of people don't understand that. And they say, yeah, but you always need your partner here and there. Well, of course you do, but you shouldn't choose a partner because you are don't want to be alone. Sometimes people are in relationships and they're lonelier there than when they are single. And that's another thing to pay attention to if you find yourself needing to be in certain relationships. Are you really happy? Or are you just saying, okay, well, I'm not single, so I'm okay. When you're comfortable in your own skin, you're ready, you're open and available to meet people because you're complete with who you are. Quite often when you need to be with somebody, it's because you're dealing with maybe a past breakup where there was a rejection and you feel like, oh, I have to get back into this because I'm, I'm not worthy of being by myself. I'm not confident. I'm not comfortable being walking around by myself and going to parties and situations where I'm alone. I feel like I'm being judged. I don't feel like I'm a whole person. This is where self-love comes in and it's super important. Once you understand that you're an okay person and that you're worthy of having a relationship and a great love is when you will start to understand that this dependency that maybe you have learned to have in your life is really not a valuable place. It's actually unhealthy because you're not getting what you truly want. You're sacrificing, as I said earlier, and you're sort of taking certain scenarios just so that you can be in a relationship. When you've done the work and you figure all this out as to, oh, now I understand why I feel like I need to be in a relationship, is when you're ready to meet a compatible partner that is an extension of who you are as well. And when you bring the two of you together, it makes a really great relationship. It brings more to your world, but you're both equally contributing. You're not leaning on anybody. They're not leaning on you. You've got a really solid foundation and that's what you're looking for. You shouldn't ever have to sacrifice your needs because you're dependent on being in a partnership with somebody. The sooner that you find out who you are just as an individual person outside of any relationship, is when you will figure out, okay, I see what I'm doing here. I know what I need to change. I deserve good things and I deserve a healthy partnership and I'm going to get it. 
but if you're being really honest with yourself while you're watching this video and you fall into the need to be in a relationship category, it's really not benefiting you in the long run. It's much better to spend time by yourself, figure out who you are first, and then go back in when you're ready and you understand why you've been choosing people that you depend upon. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cypress Do Today. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so, and leave any comments you have and like the video. Thanks so much. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.